Hi friends, welcome to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Caitlin and I like to film eyeshadow palette ranking and review videos as well as the occasional other beauty content sprinkled in. So if any of those things sound interesting to you, I highly recommend that you hit that subscribe button because I post two videos every single week. And for those of you that are not new here, my face is happy that you are seeing it again. And I am probably the last person <laughs> to post any content with the Adept Cosmetics mystery box. So I'm skipping the unboxing because I'm sure most, if not all of you, have seen what's inside uh, the box by now. But anyways, I want to do two looks using the products in the Adept mystery box um, and share my thoughts on the box. So that's what we're going to do today. If that sounds interesting to you, um, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up. And let's go ahead and get on into look number one. Okay, so for look number one, I'm going to focus on the mattes in the La Cienega palette, which came in the mystery box. So I'm going to try and do mostly mattes. I might pull in a shimmer for the inner corner. I'm not 100% sure yet, but then I want to use these liners. I don't know which color yet, but that's the plan. So let's get started. Um, all right, so I think, I think I'm just going to take Pulvita Boulevard and just fluff that onto my lid and um, crease and just have that be like a blown out like one shade on the lid type of feel. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to start with a Sonia Kashuk large eyeshadow brush. Let's see how dark Sepulveda Boulevard is. My primer crease so let's not do that. It's pigmented but it's not like so dark that I'll, if this is just my one shadow, it'll be a problem. So that works for me. So I'm going to link my friend Brittany Ray's video in the description box down below if you haven't seen it. Um, she did a great job summarizing her thoughts and, you know, concerns, issues with this mystery box. And I agreed with most, if not all of them. So I just think... Um, I'm gonna leave a lot of the explanation to her because <laughs> I think she did such a good job with it So now I'm gonna take a Sonia Kashuk blending crease brush and I'm gonna go into the same shade and uh, focus on blending this Into the crease. I really uh, I struggle with Adept's mattes um, I just feel like they're kind of hard to blend. They're like more hard pressed Oh no. I mean, this one's blending. It's just, I feel like I'm putting more effort into blending than I normally do. Maybe if I use, I'm going to try and use Del Air. Is that what it is? Yeah, Del Air. Maybe that'll help if I just bring in a lighter shade. That did soften the edge okay. Yeah, that was easier. Okay. I think this is a really good everyday palette because you could just like be done and like leave this at this and be like, okay, great. <laughs> My makeup's done. <laughs> Um, and you know, kind of go on your way, but you could also spice it up, put a little shimmer on there. So Brittany talks about this in depth in her video, but I was a little bit disappointed that eight out of the nine products that they were saying were going to be in the mystery box were all liners. I feel like it would have been maybe better to have like, maybe they picked, maybe there was like li nine liners that they're launching, but they're you know, sending people like three or four of them and then they did a different product. Um, so I don't know, that was just my two cents, but I also don't like that I can't see what color these are. <laughs> um, so that's kind of annoying. Uh, let's see, so I'm, to, I'm making a lot of noise. Okay, so this one is ROM. This is like a gold. Eh, maybe that one. I don't think that'll give us enough contrast. Um, these are all like Star Trek themed names, but I, th it, when I was reading them, I, if I recall correctly, I think most of them are like Deep Space Nine related. This is Biomimetic Gel and Deep Space Nine is my least favorite. Oh yeah, this one's the pretty, it's like teal, green, purple. All right, I might do that one. I think that one looks really nice. This is Noonien Sung. 
This one could be pretty too. It's like kind of that true like green purple multi-chrome. I don't want to, I don't know why I said true. It's like that, that typical one that you see. Um, sector one. Ooh, is a really pretty green and blue, but I don't think I want that vibe today. So we'll skip that one. Lieutenant Barclay. It's another green, but this is like a green and antique gold shift. Skip that. Gowron. It's kind of that similar like pink green, but it looks like there's more like gold in that one. Uh, to rock nor is the black. Okay. I think I need that for today. And then gold ducat is another green one. Okay. So let's see. Do I want to do the purpley one? Or do I want to do, I'm going to try the Noonie and Soong one because this one is kind of struggling. It's a little clumpy. So I want to try that one. Okay. Let me see if I can actually show you my liner application. Ooh, that is really pretty and very shifty. That is really, really pretty. Okay. And it's a lot easier. I use Adepts. <laughs> Um, shadows a lot of the time to um, do like a graphic liner with like a multi-chrome and their shadows can be like a little crumbly so it's hard to do that with so having this from them is kind of nice for me so I will say that's something that Brittany <laughs> and I disagree on because I know she said she wasn't necessarily a liner person I, I'm not necessarily a liner person either. I usually use shadow for it, but if I can use something as pretty and shifty as shadow. Oh, oh, that's fun. Okay, I'm happy with these. I still think eight is a lot, but... Oh, but I like that. Do I want to do a graphic eye or do I just want to leave it? I think I want to... I think we're gonna do a graphic eye. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really happy with this. I like this liner a lot. It's not that hard to use, like the brush tip, um, at least for, in my opinion. I did make a mess, so maybe I sh should take that back really fast, but I felt like that's just because I like stabbed in and it was kind of clumpy, but, but yeah, I think that's really pretty and so shifty, oh my gosh, okay. So let's see if we can clean that up a little bit. All right, I'm gonna take a brush and I'm gonna take some of my micellar water. I use the Milk Hydro Ungrip, that's my favorite. I used to love the Tarte one and then I went into Ulta one time to say, hey, do you guys have the Tarte micellar water? And they were like, no, that must not be a very popular one. And I was like so offended, like, oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry that I asked for it. Um, anyways, that was just a funny retail shopping experience. Okay, this is cleaning up with my micellar water in this brush pretty easily. So I'm just gonna have to apply that matte again. But it's not bad. Okay, let's take, I'm gonna have to take a smaller brush to weasel that matte back in there and it's not going to have the primer but you know mistakes happen all right i mean that's basically it for look number one <laughs> it's going to be the gist of it i'm just going to do the same thing on the other eye and then i'll come back and show the finished look here is the finished look i did the sepulveda boulevard i did the two mattes that i used up top um, on the lower lash line and then my inner corner highlight is the highlighter that I used on my face Which is the Oracle chrome highlighter palette from Bella Beauté bar, but what do we think of this finished look? I Love it. I really like this liner. I will say I know I was hating on the fact that there were eight of them But I think the liners nice um, We'll see how it wears throughout the day um, and I can share more thoughts when we come back for look number two Okay, I know my hair looks amazing but i'm gonna do that later so obviously i'm wearing this like brown and black sweater we've got some options here i really want to focus on 
blending the mattes in the crease to see how they do. Um, the shade Manhattan Beach is, is really calling to me, but I'm also like, should I just do like a smoky eye and put Santa Monica Boulevard over the top? I don't know. I really want to use Manhattan Beach, so I think I'm going to use that one. Maybe we'll pull in um, with uh, Santa Monica Boulevard. Okay, so we're going to start with my Sigma Tapered Blending Brush. This is the E40. Also, let me get closer. I guess we'll start with Inglewood. I just noticed having that lighter shade yesterday helped blend. I have primed my lids with my About Face Beauty Shadow Fix Primer because that is my favorite eyeshadow primer. Although I just opened a new bottle and I don't know, didn't seem the same yesterday, but maybe it was just because it was the first time using it. And so the bottle was more liquidy. I'm not sure. It was interesting. Today's felt more like what I feel like it normally feels like. So I don't know. While we're on the subject of my experience yesterday, <laughs> I will talk about how my look wore longevity wise. The matte shadows really creased, but that's where I'm feeling like that might be the primer because it, it felt really liquidy. So that it was what seemed to happen. I'm not sure though. We'll see today, I guess. And I can let you guys know if you're curious, but the um, liner, girl, that did not move. It did not move at all. Um, it was, yeah, it's still, in fact, some of it is still on my eyelids, but that's okay, whatever, who cares? Um, it did not budge. It did crack a little bit. It kind of like had almost like a, like the Danessa Myricks, like flaky texture when I used that as a gel. Um, it cracked like that, but I, I might've layered it too much. And that the shade I used is the one that seemed really like thick. Um, like when I pulled it out. So I'll be curious to use the other ones to see if I have that experience. But honestly, I use the gel flakes as liners anyway. So <laughs> I don't really care if that texture comes up. Okay, we're going to use this Melt Cosmetics brush. It's another fluffy brush, but it's a little bit smaller. And I'm going to go into the shade the 405. This is fun. I love the, the shade names. I live in Arizona, but I have been to California quite a bit in my life. I am familiar with a lot of these places. I lived in California when I was younger, so I obviously don't remember that, but my sister lives there now. I have a lot of family that lives there. It's funny. I don't know if funny is the right word, but... If, it's funny if you've seen the SNL skit, like the Cal... I, don't, I think it's like the Californian skit or whatever, where it makes fun of people from California talking about how they get... <laughs> How they got places um which is it's true and i do it my friends and i do it here too it's a thing that arizonans have picked up i feel like this is a very pigmented brown like this is true to pan for sure which isn't bad although for my own personal sake of this look i was kind of hoping it wouldn't be because it's really dark but i think it looks fine now i'm gonna try and blend it with that shade inglewood Okay, I feel like I was able to get that to blend okay. All right, I think I might have blown that out a little too much now, but whatever. Now we're gonna go into Baldwin Hills and I'm gonna use this LBE3 brush. Oh, that's nice and dark and smoky. It's really pretty. All right, and then I'm like, do I wanna take it even darker and go with Hawthorne? Let's just, let's just do it. Why not? You know, we're here. Okay, I'm going to take my Blend Bunny B1 brush and the shade Hawthorne, right? B1? Yeah. And I'm just like doing just the tiniest bit to try and add a little bit more depth. Not that it really needed it. That dark brown was pretty deep, but it's fun. Okay, these aren't even, but I think once we get the shimmers on, it'll be okay. So I definitely want to go for Manhattan Beach. I can't not. I'm sorry. We're doing it. Um, but I think I'm also probably going to pull in Santa Monica Boulevard. I'm going to take this, what is this, an LB? No, oh, it's too small. Okay, we're going to take this Made by Mitchell brush. This is a 
ME5. I'm going to take my Carla Cosmetics Fix Potion and I'm just going to put this on the lid where the shimmers are going to go. And then I'm going to keep that eye closed so that it actually dries a little bit. We're going to use this Ace Beauté Palette Topoly brush as the P3. And we're going into Manhattan Beach. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay, I kind of grabbed a lot on my brush, but that's okay. Um, alright. Go off Adept. The shade is incredible. And I could tell in the pan it was going to be beautiful. I'm going to take yet another brush because I don't want to get all this dirty and I have my Fix Plus on here. Or not. The Fix Potion. Now I'm going to go into Santa Monica Boulevard. Okay, these two shades blended together gorgeously. Yeah, I think that's absolutely stunning i'm like can i even Ooh, yeah you can see the green and like pinky shift or i can in the mirror i don't know if you can i'm not even showing anything who knows oh gosh okay that is so pretty all right um i actually guess i don't need to show the other eye because i'll just end up editing it out but this is gonna be it pretty much for the look i'm going to do the same mats on bottom and then i'll I don't know what I'm going to do for my inner corner, and I always forget to show it anyway, so I'll let you know when I come back. <laughs> Here is the finished look. Um, I just used the shade Manhattan Beach on the inner corner, and then I ran a little bit of, what was it, Sepulveda, or no, Santa Monica Boulevard um, underneath uh, the lower lash line. So let me give you my thoughts on the Adept Mystery Box, although you can't get the Mystery Box anymore, but I did see that this morning as I'm filming this, they announced that you can buy the liners individually um, and then they said when the mystery box launched that this palette will be available at some point this year. So overall thoughts on the box. I don't love that eight of the nine products were all liners. I felt like for me, um, I like how, and I'm not trying to compare to, you know, pit brands against each other, but I like how Unearthly Cosmetics does their mystery boxes. Similar to Adept, they did products that they had never released before. Um, but what Unearthly does is it's like a variety of products. Like you get like three liquid lipsticks. If it was like five liquid lipsticks and a palette, I'd feel the same way. I don't need, I don't want five liquid lipsticks. I don't need any of the makeup if we're being totally honest. But anyways, I do like that Adept launched products that they plan to come out with individually so if you skip on the mystery box but are like like what is inside the box you can buy it later so i do think there's a benefit to that um they did say that for the collective eyeliners there is um they're like considered gel versus liquid liners i don't know if i agree with that they feel very liquid liner to me although i did say that the one i used yesterday which was uh which one is it noonian soong um that one kind of got like a gel flaky texture so maybe that one does feel like a gel this the the black one that i used today feels like a liquid liner straight up brush tip liquid liner that's what it feels like um i think this one would have been ten dollars and then the because they said that the non-special pigment ones are 10 and then the special pigment ones are 17 so i think this noonian soon one would be considered 17 i haven't looked at the website so i'm not 100 percent sure but it was a multi-chrome and I saw the shifts on that multi-chrome liner like way better than any multi-chrome liner I've ever used. So I do feel like the shifts are there. Um, I think they said that the packaging is recycled plastic. So that explains why it kind of feels cheap, but I'm, I'm down to do recycled plastic for packaging. That's totally fine for me. My issue is that there's nothing to indicate what color is inside, which I know that it has the, the name of the liner on it. But like I'm not going to memorize what every color is. So I think they need, and I like Star Trek. So like I will say I did memorize that Tarak Noor was the black. Um, so I uh, like, so some of that will, will help me. But for people who don't know any of that, that's not going to be helpful. So I think like a little sticker right here that just had like the little, like the shifts on it would be helpful. I don't, I don't think it has to be anything like super expensive, but something to indicate what colors are inside. Um, if it's a multi-chrome one or what color is inside, if it's a non-multi-chrome one, I just think would be, would be nice. So those are my thoughts. Uh, I, they wear well, they, I didn't have any issues yesterday. Um, it, like I said, it got kind of like a crack texture. We'll see if this one does. As of right now, it doesn't look like this one's going to crack. It just looks pretty 
much like a normal liquid liner. So we will see. Um, I struggled hard today. I haven't done like a black wing and I could not tell you how long with a liquid liner. So the struggle was real. It's a mess if you look up close, but that's okay. We'll just stay far away. Now talking about the La Cienega palette, I, um, uh, let's see. I felt like the mattes blended really well today. And then um, I did say yesterday that the, the one mat um, that I did on like the lid, it creased, but I, I don't know if that's my primer. So I'm not sure, TBD on that. I continue to review palettes as I use them on my channel. So if you're not subscribed, there's a good reason to subscribe if you wanna hear my evolving thoughts. Uh, these two shimmer shades, gorgeous stunning the normal adept quality like i mean come on it's amazing so uh overall i am i don't know how i feel about it i'm a little bit i think i already mentioned this that i was going to link Brittany ray's video in the description box because i feel like she summed it up well i'm like a little bit disappointed that adept posted the pictures of what was inside the box before the box even shipped for most people. Like, I get that some people were posting theirs already because they already had it, but like, let other people be the the people to spoil it. Like the brand itself, like I have a lot of brands that I like, I have their post notifications turned on um, so that if they post something new, I can see it like right when they post it. Um, so I like went in and immediately it was like, like there was no avoiding it um, when the brand does it. So that I did, I, that just kind of ruined the whole experience for me. So that's sort of where I'm stuck on feeling like, I don't know if the mystery box was really worth it, but I do like the palette. The two liners I've, I've tried so far, I like. I don't know that I would have picked up eight of them. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of like meh on the box, but I do like some of the individual products in there. So as they launch them individually, I think, you know, you might like them as well. I'll share my thoughts uh, on if these mattes like fade and crease, um, but they blended really nice. I didn't have the same issues with them that I've had with some of their mattes in the past. So I think that was good. But anyways, those are all of my thoughts. Let me know what you think um, of the two looks I did, of the collection, of everything um, in the comments, and I will talk to you all next time.